That's my friend Kale. Although he's from Australia, we met in Dublin and quickly became friends. He later invited Elisa and I to climb a mountain in Morocco. Crazy, I know, but we said yes. We were hanging out in Marrakesh the night before we were to leave for the mountain and something terrible happened. I smashed my head on a freaking lamp and got a concussion. Although it was relatively minor, it was more than enough to prevent us from having any hope of going on the trek. That's a story for another time, but if you want to hear about it now, check out the video above. It's been nearly two years since that missed trek. This time, it's my turn to invite Kale to travel many miles and trek up a crazy mountain in Central Oregon. Okay, so we're finally on our hike up the South Sister, going towards Moraine Lake. It's so epic! We're here at the lovely Moraine Lake. Over there is the South Sister where we'll be climbing tomorrow. But what I'm here to talk about is the blue butterfly. For those who don't know what that is, it is a butterfly that is about this big and it has a grayish blue tinge. And there are hundreds, even thousands, wandering around these shores of this lake. So an interesting fact about these blue butterflies is that they lay their larvae near ant nests and the larvae mimic the sound of an ant larvae and the ants are fooled into taking that blue butterfly larvae into the ant nests. They will constantly make that same sound and the ants will serve them food over and over and over again. Eventually, it will pupate, form a cocoon. I forget how many weeks later, turn into a beautiful blue butterfly and escape the ant nest and then flourish out here in these fields. Isn't that something really, really fascinating, really, really cool? And I'm so glad that Brett pointed that out and I had a closer look and I remembered it from Life in the Undergrowth. So uh, if you wanna get some further information, watch Life in the Undergrowth with Sir David Attenborough. It is a really, really good watch. Look into my witch's cauldron. This is basically salami, a bit of hickory smoked tuna, some Brazilian steakhouse marinade with some pasta, and that is dinner. And there's a lot of calories, a lot of protein, a bit of flavor, and will suit us just fine. So we can charge on tomorrow to that crazy freaking mountain that we're doing. This is my first mountain that I've ever climbed, trekked up, however you want to say it. Uh, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, definitely nervous just because of the physical aspect of it, but you know, we'll push through, it'll be fine. All right, so it's somewhere around 3 a.m. right now, um, and we're just about packed up, and it's time to tackle the mountain. I've been hiking for about an hour and a half now, and uh, the views get better with every step. I'm surprised I'm able to talk this much. Whew. It's really fucking gorgeous, but we have a long way to go. Chipmunk. Thankfully, Caleb brought a couple Sawyer squeezes. Uh, we hadn't filled up at the lake earlier, but now we've come across this glacial 
well, it's kind of a pond. It's not, not really a lake, but um, we figured that's a great opportunity to get some really fresh, really cold water and uh, reward ourselves from that slog. That was tough. I didn't record a lot because it was so ridiculously steep inclined. And dangerous too. It was, yeah, it was, it was a lot of scree, a lot of slip. So it's time for some water. Kale and I have finally summited at South Sister. We sure have, and it is a hell of a view being up here as well. Here we are, the official summit of the South Sister. This is it right here. This big slab of rock is the highest point. Yep. And we're sitting down like kings, looking over, over our kingdom. I am Mufasa, because you're tinier, you are Simba. I'll take it. And I'll go, one day Simba, all of this, as far as you can see, will be yours. This is the first mountain that I've ever summited, and honestly, it's it's really it's really breathtaking. Um, I hit a wall uh, when we were coming up the scree. I found that if I was really really hating everything, all I had to do is stop and look around, and and just breathe. And it just reminded me immediately why I was doing this because I could see, oh my God, this is incredible. Just not just the mountains. You have little glacial lakes below us and you watch the streams coming off the glaciers and weaving their way through the valleys like a snake it's so beautiful and there is even chipmunks up at this altitude so we had the blue butterflies down at Moraine Lake here we have orange butterflies and they're flying all over the place, all around us as we're um, hiking back down the mountain. So, have you ever climbed a mountain and if so, what was the hardest thing you've ever done and how did you get over it? Let us know in the comments below and give us a like for the miles we share with my friends, Brett and Elisa. These guys are awesome and as much publicity as you can. Peace out.